is my build Hex, and this is really uh, closely related and inspired to a build by my friend Shin Godzilla named Jinx. Um, now the difference is he runs uh, Ephemera Head, um, Ephemera Arms, instead of a laser pistol, he has a Sujin, um, and he runs Huxley and Forcell instead of the back weapons I have, um, and he runs an NGI booster. So really, really similar. Um, I'm kind of just copying his build and giving it a facelift and putting on things that I, I think I would I, I would prefer for my setup. Um, so full credit to Shin Godzilla for the for the OG concept man, and his has some like some bitchin' paint. So I tried to I tried to replicate his kick-ass paint, but mine is not as cool. He has a bunch of decals. So like I said, man, Shin Godzilla is the goat. Freaking got the S rank playing Jinx, and he inspired me to make my spin on it. So tip to butt, uh, pulse armor. Um, it's the only option in ranked men. Unless you have a combo that, that, that hinges on a soul armor, it's it's useless. Um, it's like gimmicky. It, it it probably needs a little bit of love to be competitive with pulse armor. Bubble, don't don't even try me, man. Bubble's a joke. Um, there's some use if you can like weave in and out of the bubble, but that's not what this that's not this kind of build. Um, this is just better. And terminal, like come on, man. You're just gonna let people punish you in, in, in ACS overload and not have shit to do about it. Hell no. The fucking terminal. Five seconds of just flailing around while they wait for your terminal to burn off and kill you. This is really the best option. Um, 20 beam, man. We got two lasers. We really want to maximize that. Use that 20 B with that 150 firearm spec. It increases our damage by 25% on energy weapons. Um, Talbot, man, I'm a believer. Shin, Shin runs this, and he kind of opened my eyes. This thing is crazy. Um, you'll see in the video, man, you hit shots you don't think you'll hit. And, and, you, and you have the, the tracking to hit up close and at mid-range against these big fatties especially. Um, so it's solid, man. Super good chip. P04. So I'm, I'm going to break this down, right? Y'all need to believe in the P04. Um, what should immediately jump out to you is like three things, right? Uh, I guess more like two. The efficiency. Efficiency. Look at this. Upwards thrust. 650. Cheap as hell. Uh, QB and consume. 560. Also cheap as hell. Uh, AB. 353. That is huge, man. This shit is cheap as hell to run, which is really important when we only have 2.5k supply efficiency. Um, and we're on a 20B, man. We're not, we're not running Santai here. You know, we need all the little points we can get. Um, and these QB stats are crazy, man. 20k QB thrust. 3 point, uh, I'm sorry, 0.38 uh, jet duration, no, like nothing to sneeze at. That's not crazy. It's not you know, it's not NGI or fucking whatever the other one is. Like one, two, three, four, five tier, but it's up there, man. It's good. Um, and a 0.56 reload, so it's more competitive than NGI for the reload, and it's right in line with the uh, the P06. Now, granted, are you going to be slow as dick walking around? Yeah, but we're not trying to walk around, man. We're trying to float around. We're trying to mix up our our aerial QBs and our and our AB to chase down people who are trying to run from us. Right? We're either kiting in the air and doing good aerial maneuvers, or we're assault boosting at kites. Those are the two options, man. So, the, for the two things we're trying to do, this thing is awesome. Um, I actually think this, this, chip is, or this, chip, this uh, booster is better than Burzel. Give it a try, man. Uh, slap it on one of your builds that could benefit maybe like a, mid, a chunkier midweight or like a fat boy. Throw on P04. See what you think, man. Um, you, you just have energy for days. And also, it's really cheap to run, man. 250 energy and 1710. Like, let's look at freaking NGI. It's like a hundred more and an EN and two hundred more weight. It's just cheap, man. It's a good ass booster. Uh, legs. So these mind alpha. I had a really big confliction if I wanted to run how or mind alpha, but re really won me over, man. Is the stat difference here? I was trying to make this thing as stat dense as possible. Um, like granted, the stats are close, but I'm really trying to build for EN defense here. Um, and the stability difference was minor enough, a difference of twelve, that I didn't feel uh, terrible going to. Um, mind alpha because like it, we're, I'm not as worried about stability as I am defense and AP because I'm trying to float and like fly right uh, and the jump distance and height doesn't really matter because we're trying to play in the air anyways um, so it wasn't a hard sell but you could go to these legs and it'd be fine it wouldn't be a real big swap these arms man these arms rock so the recoil formula is you add the recoil of your two weapons and then you average their fire rate so these have a combined recoil of 47 and they have an average fire rate of 1.8 so then what you do is you multiply those two numbers together and then divide it by 1 minus 0 0.05 multiplied by the average recoil and that spits out the recoil control number you need. And with these two weapons in particular, it comes out to be something like stupid, like 87. So you can run whatever you want. So these arms are super cheap. They have decent stats, um, pretty high firearm spec, and enough recoil for perfect recoil on this on this setup. So these arms are kind of the perfect slot in. Anything else is too expensive, man. Um, and like, like we'll, we'll sort by firearm spec, right? So like you could run knock, too expensive. 
Couldn't run this. Too expensive. We're trying to squeeze out every little piece of EN. Look, these. Too expensive. And they're worse on the stats, man. These arms are all worse on stats. Maybe these are okay for, like... It's only one point, man. Yeah. Like, look at this. How would be a good option, but, man, uh, you're losing 300 points of efficiency. Granted, the stats are really good, but um, I really like these arms, man. I really do. And, like, the extra recoil control is not doing shit for you because you're already perfect with, like... You can, you can run these weapons with knocked and have perfect recoil. Right, so I'm just trying to build out like like cheap and efficient is the name of the game. Halcor, man, this thing is badass. Granted, it has dick for stability. The stability is terrible, right? But when we compare it to like um, stats of the other things you would want to run in this slot, look, ass, all your efficiency and your defenses in the toilet. Uh, Mind Alpha, great core, super stable, but dude, efficiency and and defenses and AP in the toilet. Then we go up, main dish. Uh, not enough energy. Wrecker, not enough energy. This one, you're fat and your efficiency goes in the toilet. Right? And you don't even have as much energy defense. We're not that one. We got the shield, right? And anything that's not using Zims and Burzel, we can usually shred before we have to worry about connect defense. Um, this thing. It, this thing's okay, but your efficiency and delay go in the toilet and you're fat. Your boost goes down to 281, man. Hell no. Um, so this thing's really epic. And like I said, we're not as worried about stability. But, because we do, it is still an important stat, we're running this head, man. This head rocks, it's super good, I use it on a lot of builds. Really good AP, super high stability. Decent defenses, but you know, we're not as worried about defenses for the head, because we kind of take care of that with the rest of our build. Now, the killer on this head, man, is this freaking system recovery. Stun guns eat you alive, but that is why we are running the freaking pulse shield, man. That's not the only reason, the pulse shield is a super cool way to express skill. Um, and it comes in clutch, right? Like, like, dude, people run Zims. You can dodge and pop the shield up at the same time and get that initial guard in the Zims. Um, freaking, it completely blocks electrical buildup, so you can just throw this up and just gunfight with the LRA against stun guns, man. And, it, and it, it's super effective. Um, people are running any stupid amount of bullshit, right? Fucking ear shots, LCBs, whatever, man. Just shield it. Just get, get that initial guard, block it. They're gonna geek because they're like, oh my god, he fucking perfect parried my LCBs. Oh, I'm gonna drool on myself. Um, and you feel cool, man. And it's like, and it's also fun knowing which matchups to keep and ditch it, right? So against kites, I usually throw this away because I just want to be faster and more efficient to catch them. Um, so it's a really fun thing to use. And then six L with the with the two hand with the two hand weapons we have, we're kind of hurting for impact. So six L is a way to build impact. I think we're getting like four thirty six impact if all six hit, um, which isn't an unrealistic ask against these fatties. And also, um, if they try and like peel off and like build some space. You don't need all six to hit, you just need one to hit, right? And that keeps their stagger bar up and gives you time to position yourself to keep shooting at them. Um, so six L's super good. I've really been rocking with these six L's meant this patch, man. They're just so consistent, do everything I need them to do. Um, and they're pretty fairly priced. So I love these six L's, super good. Um, and they really slot in well here because we're kind of hurting for impact. Uh, LRA and laser pistol, man, this is a really high DPS combo. Um, and I really wanted to run double LRA, but two things, put your efficiency kind of in the pooper, and number two, having two weapons um, that have offset reloads, in this case cooling, um, and fire rates, really, uh, they kind of, both physically and in, in sort of an illusion, give you, they give you the illusion of having no downtime, right? So like granted, when your LRA overheats, like yeah, you're, a lot of your DPS is gone, but if you're still popping them with the laser pistol, um, it mitigates your downtime, right? So you you know you have no obvious window where you can't do anything. Um, so pairing, I really like the concept of like having like a, a more heavy hitter weapon and then a faster firing lighter weapon in the offhand. Um, like another good way to do this is with uh, Ludlow at Sujin, right? You have no obvious downtime, no windows for you to get abused. You always have something, and then the shield really takes away a lot of your downtime, right? Let's say both your things overheat, just fucking pop up the shield and fly away, dude. Like who cares? Um, this build is badass, man. Once again, full credit to uh, Shin Godzilla for the original setup, but I wanted to tweak it because I was really inspired by his gameplay. Uh, and let's kick to all these ranked matches, man. Every single match here is going to be S rank PvP, so I hope you guys enjoy. Of the day in S rank PvP, playing ladder. Uh, this guy has uh, <laughs> a, a lightweight close range trap. That's what that is, man. It's just designed to blow up a lightweight up close. Um, which is fine because we don't want to get up close and we have a shield for the Morleys, so we don't really care Oh that telekinetic kick Morleys don't connect 
and he has nothing to follow that up. Yeah, look at that man, just putting in work with the shield and then shredding him. We're just gonna go up. Go back. And we got him. So, that actually, uh, the Morleys are really bad for this build, because this build does not have a lot of explosive resist. But what this build has plenty of is energy resist. I think we're at 1200 something. Um, so you're tankier than you look against lasers. So we're just gonna go up, man. We'll go down. That's... I want what that guy's smoking, because that guy was fucking shooting that on Hope and a Dream. I mean, if you want to play for time, that's fine. Yeah, come on, man. That shit's not gonna hit. <laughs> Shield those Morleys. That's fine. We're gonna get more lead here. Yeah. We really need a stagger here. That's what we- Oh, come on! Dude, that's the one thing, man. This build does not build stagger fast. So if we get put in a loop like that, I really gotta- I, I can't let him put me in a loop, man. I gotta, I gotta go up. You really need to play aerial with this build. Um, and try and shake them with the NGI the hardest part. So here, we're going to let him get close, and we're just going to go up. Yeah. Come on, man. And we'll just sit up here, man. We'll let him come to us, and we'll go down, we'll go back up. And, like, he's sitting in AB the whole time. He's going to come crashing down. We're staying missile range. Fire off our missiles. Keep that stagger up. Go down. Go up. Yeah. Come on, man. And we'll just back up. We'll get free real estate here on the floor. And go up, back up. Over his head. Over his head again. And up. And look, you just can't hang. Oh, fuck me. There we go. We still took direct hit on that, though. But we should shred him here. There we go. Kind of misplayed that match, but it's okay. This build has a shit ton of firepower. Alright guys, some classic Neb tank. I actually don't know how this matchup plays out, so I'm kind of excited to see. I'm going to try two things. I'm going to try really working that shield in the first game, and if I lose, I'm going to ditch it. Try and be faster. That's my plan. Wow, that really hits. Yeah, this is my plan. The concept is right, these things don't have a lot of uh, uh, energy resist, is the idea anyways. The pole there, bud. Oh, I boosted into that. Oh, it didn't hit, though. Nice. This actually is a really good matchup against this, man. I'm not gonna lie. And that wasn't even locked on. Come on, man. So look at this, man. You just sit above him. And you'll take some shots, but look. It goes down. Now granted, his build probably isn't optimal, but that was pretty low effort, man. I just tried to work the shield in anytime I felt like I couldn't dodge something. Obviously, my shield game could use a lot of work, but I mean, I killed him in the time limit. That's better than what I usually do. I play BBO and just fucking die to these things. Uh, look, now he's trying to play in the air. Come on, man, don't be pathetic.
Yeah, man, I'm think I'm. Oh, I kind of misplayed my dodges there, but it's okay. Pop this. Yeah, Ariel's the move against these things, man. Come on! Yes, I got him! <laughs> Fighting a dude playing rat. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how this fights against the rat. Um, I think I don't want the shield this match. I think it doesn't help me. I want missiles. I don't want shield though. It's a shame that I'm not seeing any Zims or stun guns because that's one of the matchups where, um, shield is really crazy. Yeah, let's see if we can shred this guy. Yeah, with your whip. Oh, that hurts. Interesting. <laughs> Man, we're just pelting this dude. Hey, buddy. We just run him down in AB all game. And I'm really not afraid of him. Now, that whip might have hurt me, but I still had armor, so I really wasn't scared at all. Um, if he tagged me with that whip once, like the first hit, I was just going to armor. Um, and then continue doing what I was doing. I like no shield against this. I think, I think I'm, I'd have a harder time trying to get him if I had the shield. The no shield makes you a lot lighter and more efficient. Yeah, nice. Okay. Whip hit me. Not scared at all. Look at the damage we're doing. And we're gonna AB at him while our shit's overheated. Why does this guy keep trying to charge his shit, man? It makes no damn sense. Not even scared in the slightest. Oh, now I'm kinda... Oh, yep, armor. And AB. And we got him. Yeah, man, it's it's not scary when you just shred these guys. All right, guys, we're fighting a BVO build. Uh, I'm really unimpressed by a lot of BVO I see um, in S rank because when I fight it, I'm usually playing BVO. That's like my go-to, right? You guys know that. Um, and when I fight it, I'm just like, this is what you, this is all you have, you know? Never, never impresses me. I mean, this is really unimpressive here. He's not coming off the ground. Okay, I get it, bro. Not as good, but like, AB it me. You can fly up here and burn off all your stagger, bro. There we go, but it's too, too little too late. This is why I'm saying, like, these tools do not play if you go to get fucking S rank, I don't think. Like, it looks like you've never fought a fucking kite range build before. Which is, like, all you fight in A. I'm in trouble! Nope. <laughs> I mean, I'm a big proponent of don't fucking. Uh, reaction armor when someone else armors unless you need to pop it because otherwise you're just throwing away your armor for no good reason um, Kind of like a nuanced thing with the armor right like when to use it But that would be a great time to reaction armor because he had no AP. There we go. He's fucking ABing at me There we go. Yeah I mean he's sitting in AB so I don't think he knows how to do it but... And, oh, dude, he was fast enough. Good shit. And he missed a pick. I don't know how. It's just, like, guaranteed. 
Armor! Oh, he is. What the fuck? That's crazy. But he didn't fall up the dagger, so he's gonna die. <laughs> I didn't expect him to have assault. That's why he didn't reaction armor. That was crazy, dude. I mean, cool, but still. BDO, and he immediately went to Zim shotguns. So, <laughs> I think my theory was right that he didn't play BVO to climb. He climbed with fucking Zim shotguns and then wanted to play BVO because he's like, it looks cool and doesn't know how to play it. So, this is actually a great test to see how this thing fights Zim shotguns because I don't know. I have no clue. No idea. We're going to see. Ooh, that hurts though. That's fine, I'm not really. Ooh, underneath. Need to start. Yeah, oh, this feels good, dude. What? Oh, shield! Dude, I love the P04, actually. I'm really digging it, man. What the fuck, Slicer? Come on, bro. Get out of here. I'll stand here and slap off with you. I got my shield, you don't. <laughs> Slicer on fucking Zims, bro. I've seen it all. Like, dude, there is something to running, uh, running whip on Zims, but Slicer, that's just dumb, man. You're better off with Dagger, you're better off with Pulse Blade, you're better off anything else. I run Slicer because I need it, because I have no fucking health, so it's always a race to beat the fucking Stagger meter. Oh, uh, did I shield that? I don't think I did. <laughs> Whoa, I got it quick. What the? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, I need to play more aerial, man. And I need to really work that shield. I'm kind of playing like Dookie today, but it's okay. I'm having fun. This, this build makes s rank PvP bearable, man. Because it kind of has what you want for a lot of these matchups. This one's probably a little tough, but... Um, I think if I just work that shield, I'll be okay. And work the, the yeah, work that range. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get out of it though. I don't know. I thought I shielded that. Did I not? Like now he just goes to kick spam, dude. That's all these guys know. They're like, uh, oh. oop, oop, Berzel Zimmerman not work, kick spam. Unga, unga. I'm fine. He's not gonna hit it. <laughs> I knew, dude, I knew. I know these things. And he goes down. So, I kind of played like Dookie in the second round, but it's okay. I got him in the third round. So, that's how it works against Zims, man. And I got a slicer, so that's like a scary setup, but, you know, whatever. Pretty sure it's the same dude playing Neb Tank. We got a really big open area here, which is great for us. Yep. There he is. We're just gonna... Man, it really doesn't do much, the shield, but I'm trying it, right? And the tracking on those is so crazy, dude. Holy. Got him. Whew. 
Okay, yeah. I, I can't get sucked into the, their little game they want to play where you fucking shoot at them on the floor. I need to be backing up and maybe in the air. I keep trying to play their stupid little game. I'm gonna try something. Since I won the first round, I'm gonna ditch the shield and see how it plays. Um, cause the shield, like, it feels kind of good, but at the same time, I'm wondering, like, is the movement and energy better? Man. The only downside to this build, man, is your frames, like, super big. So it's hard to... It's hard to see, um... Some of the projectiles coming at you. coming at you. Oh, I boosted into that like an idiot. It's crazy that this is de this deadly at mid range. I'll give those a little bleed off the stagger. Get a huge punish. Yeah, man. Distance is the name of the game. Look at this. I'm working this kid. I ate that one. That's okay, though. We still have armor, dude. In fact, we're going to do this. Got him. There you go, boys. Uh, just kite the fuck out of them with this and you'll get them. Nice. Guys, second match of the day in S rank and we're fighting a uh, rifle kite build. And he's substituting the standard double Renetsu for Renetsu Harris, I think, or as a Curtis. I mean, it's whatever. We're not going to play his range. We're just going to rat him. Because, dude, if you try and chase these things, those... Uh, here we go, if you want to fight in this range. Those uh, javelins will eat you alive, man. They're ridiculous. So here, look. Because now we fired off this javelin, I can get close. Look, we're just going to back up now, man. I'm not going to get javelin. Uh, I'm actually going to ditch the shield. It's not doing anything for us this match. That javelin's going to hit me in the back, isn't it? Yeah, you just gotta avoid the jabs. That's the only thing you can do against this. And be really watching out for your armor. I, don't, I lost track of the jab. Oh, it landed on the ground. Oh, there's the other one. Oh. That jab's gonna be a problem. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get all of our energy back. Pop armor and AB at him. Hell no, man. There we go. So this thing's just beefy enough to stick with him. Uh, I should have dropped the shield earlier. It's not doing anything in that matchup. Um, shield's better for, like, Zims and and, and grenades, uh, LCBs, LCSs, shit like that with a warning beep that you really don't want to get hit by. Well, we're just going to shred this guy, actually. I'm ca I didn't realize how beefy I really was. Um, I'm not really scared of the javelin anymore. We're just playing from red line. Oh, that's going to be a problem if he hits us with that. Oh, yep, I fucking ate it, but it's fine. Shred this as fast as possible. You do not want to fight me up close, dude. I have a towel bit. Pop armor. Uh, get our energy back. I probably should have waited to pop armor. It's fine. Oh, I'm stuck on the wall. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Still shredded him. Keep in mind, folks, this is an S rank. So, like, these people are S rank players. But, I don't, you know, who knows what they played to get here. All right, we got a fat boy with stun guns. Um, because this head, man, you hate stun guns. Because stun guns just eat this head alive. But with shield, man, with shield... As soon as they start blasting their stun guns, you just put the shield up. And all those stun guns just get chomped. Bold choice. I can also just outrange this guy like crazy. Every time he tries to pop out to earshot me, I just shoot him. Come on, man. 
This is what people do in S rank, man. They they will play so lame to try and get any sort of advantage. That he see he's gonna do this and try and play for time. I'm just gonna fly above him. Weak and sad. Oh, that's a unfortunate. I didn't put my shield up. Look at that, man. No electrical bullet at all. Shred him. Oh, it went through the shield. I didn't put it up soon enough. Because you kind of got to do some, pre some predictions here, right? Why is he trying to play the time? I'm going to win if you do that, dude. You're stupid. Look, no electrical build up, dude. <laughs> there you go, man. So the stun guns don't work against this if you use your shield correctly. Not like me, and, and I'm still working on my shield, boys. I'm still working on it. I'm pretty good at like shielding the beeps, but um, I'm really trying to master the, the intermittent shield use that I see other people do. It really impresses me. Okay, I didn't see that. He knows that what I'm doing too, so it doesn't always work. It's okay. But dude, look at that. It's, it's, the stun guns are so buggy, man. I'm not even getting a shot. Oh, what the fuck? How did he hit me, bro? Yo. Those guns are so bullshit, man. So stupid. So cheesy. Help. I don't know. You come up here, man. You come up here. Okay. You can play the game. Pop his Oh, he got before he came out. Yes, let's go. And of course, it goes through. Oh, and I'm just gonna back up and shoot at him. I'm gonna make him come to me. I'm gonna play the range game here, man. I'm not coming. I'm not coming to him. If he wants to, if he wants to hide, that's okay. I'm gonna shoot him with this. Oh, come on! All right, it's still really close though, and he's running some cheese dick ear shots. I don't know how common ear shots are in S. I've really only got seen, but I see occasionally see sun guns, but ear shots. Um, I think if I just play a little better. I'll have this in the bag. Cool thing, man. This build has a lot of room for you to grow as a player. Like, a lot. Man, this guy is so fu such a fucking pussy. I'm gonna hide. Oh, I need my ear shots. Oh, I'm a fucking pussy. I'm gonna hide. Oh, I'm fucking lame. Oh, I'm fucking scared. Oh, I'm gonna shoot my ear shots. Yeah, predicted, you fucking scumbag. I'm in your head, retard. Yeah, keep fucking hiding, you little pathetic loser. I need to fucking hide! How am I supposed to win if I can't fucking spam stand and the ear shots? Ah. Weak, bro. Weak. Shoot ear shots, yeah. Yeah, pack up when you pop armor. You are dumb, dude. That's why are you playing this? What a pussy, man. This guy is so cringe. He's trying to play for time now. I still have armor, dingus. I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna sit here and hold this, brother. All day.
I have time. I'm leaving. You want to play for time? I'll play for time, bro. Let's do it. Oh, now you don't want to play for time suddenly. What's the problem? What's wrong, man? Now you don't want to play for time? Hey, shoot your shot. See what happens. Oh, he dissed him. <laughs> yeah, man, you want to play for time? I can do it too. <laughs> Dweeb. All right, guys, we got a. What is that booster? A grid walker. He's gonna elevator us with fucking jabs and uh, uh, plasma missiles. We're gonna ditch this. Um, lucky for us, I put on PO4 this match. I'm really curious to see how the PO4 plays. Um, I really had the thought. So I'm gonna try it. Looking like it's working out for ya. Oh, Drain Kiss. I wonder if that's a Pokemon reference. Yeah, we just eat this thing alive, man. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to put it in the video. Maybe I will, just because I can show off the, the P04 being good. Um, here, I know it was hard to see, so I'll do some upwards elevation. I'll just flap to his level without AB, just so you guys can see. But uh, look how efficient this is. I mean, we're gonna eat, if we're not in AD, we're gonna eat all the fucking jabs, but it doesn't matter, I need to come out of stun and do this. You wanna AD against these you do not wanna try and play their game until you catch them, then you do play their game. And then running away like this? Yeah, we're just gonna run at him. But the, the upward stress is really efficient for matchups that aren't like this. So I kind of like T04. Because a lot of the, the Neb tank, the Rebula, whatever, the, the, the big fat builds are scary. Not this thing. Um, against those, you really value that cheap upwards thrust. Um, but it's good against these too because you have cheap assault boost. The P04 is a solid booster. 